Hello, my name is Alex Askaroff and today we're going to talk about this little beauty. This is the Singer Featherweight. It ran right from the 1930s up to the late 1960s. It was originally in black, the last few ones were in white. It came basically in two models. There was hundreds of little variations, but the two big models was the 221 and the 222. Now the 221 is what we have here. That's the majority of your seat. You'll see thousands of these for every 222. It's very little difference. I'll explain that in a second. Now when you're buying a featherweight, there's two things to look at. Obviously, if you're a collector, you're going to look at condition, original condition. If you're just a, a quilter, if you're a quilter or a sewer who just loves the sewing and the ability of the 221, then you're going to look at how it performs. So what we're going to do today is run through a few of the most important things. Now, firstly, all, all just about everything is available. So if you need a new motor, new foot control, that, these are the foot controls. If you need that, most of it's available somewhere on the internet. You can get it everywhere. Um, so you don't need to worry too much, but if you're paying a premium for one, make sure they're good. And that's a physical exam, or sometimes they'll have an electrical safety test. So look at the condition of the electrics for safety. The other big thing is to listen to the machine. Now, lots of people sell sewing machines that they say work. And of course, when you get them home, what they mean is they went up and down, they didn't actually work. Now, the Singer Featherweight makes a beautiful, beautiful noise. Very smooth machine. And just examine the stitching. If you're getting a nice stitch, if you turn it over here, it's almost invisible, top and bottom, you're getting a very nice stitch, then you know that's a good sewer. So look for the sewing ability of the machine. If you're a collector, look for these decals. This is where it's valuable. If you have original decals, they'll have a few little scratches and little bits missing. That shows, like this model, this was made in 1955, that shows that this hasn't been messed around with. Nothing wrong with reconditioned ones, but it's not original. Underneath the machine, if you turn the machine over, there will be a serial number, and that's just on the corner there and from that number you will be able to date the sewing machine if you go onto the internet put that number in there's several sites that will tell you what year this was made this actual model was made in 1955 so it's almost my age now if i just close in you'll be able to see there it says made in great britain there was only two places this model was made america and great britain when britain really was great and so that's the other clue look for that little thing so remember everything's available for this machine it's a good little stitcher it will do a good little job it won't do any fancy patterns this machine goes forwards, it goes backwards. The big difference with the 222 is it have another little lever here and it will drop the teeth down. That's basically it with the 222 with a free arm sleeve, so that will pull away for a little narrow free arm and a drop feed. That's the only difference. Sewing performance, they're identical. So if you want a really great sewer, this is your baby. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. And that's today's Singer Featherweight.